these are the products that I'm using today. As you can see, there's lots going on here. Okay, so today I just got my eyelashes done and I figured that I wanted to do a little makeup tutorial and hopefully you like it. So first I'm gonna start out with some MAC Prep and Prime. Some people say that they don't think that this is necessary, but like I just have done it for so long. I do feel like stuff sticks to my face a little bit better. So then this is a Lancome La Base Pro, I guess. And I just like putting this just on my eyes. It's a little bit oily, which the lash lady said I shouldn't do, but I think it just means like she doesn't want oily stuff like when you're taking off your makeup. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. Hopefully this is a little bit better. I started off with the camera a little bit low. Okay, so first I'm gonna put on this NARS Radiant Cream Concealer and it's in Light to Vanilla. And it has been really a good product. Um, I'm not sure if I do anything like a makeup artist would, but I like kind of doing it this way. So, and some people like to kind of like do that, but I don't really know. I just do it this way. And then next, this is kind of like, this is just not like an expensive product. It's just the Maybelline Instant, new Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, which I actually use like lower and kind of do this little thing because I don't know, I have this kind of weird like dip. And then it's also not as heavy as the concealer that I put under my eyes. So I kind of like how it's just not as heavy. And isn't as thick because I don't want to look like I'm like caked on makeup. Okay, so next I'm going to use the Makeup Forever, and this shade is 120Y245. And my skin, I never like tan my face at all, and I try not to tan, but um, even if I go outside, I really just like keep my skin. And you can always put on bronzer, but you can't erase wrinkles. So then I do kind of this swoop that I learned from my friend Maddie and then a little bit down here and it goes a long way and it's expensive so I don't do too much and then um, I'm actually gonna try out a new product today and I have no clue I just wanted to try out this like contour thing so um, this is kind of dark so it might actually be too dark but I um, figured I would put just a little bit here and then along the bottom for the jawline and then do the nose and let's see, right there and then up around, which I feel like I look kind of like Freaking, like I'm going to the jungle, but, and then now that that is done, I, hopefully this, this is Maybelline Master Contour, and it's in shade medium 15, which I just didn't want a shade that was too, um, that was too light, because otherwise I feel like it's pointless. Oh yes, and then I do a little bit of this Smashbox camera ready because I do like to have a little bit of SPF and also just having it a little bit of actual um, liquid instead of like all this just kind of regular um, is kind of nice and then I'm just going to blend it and I always like to blend down into my neck because I don't want to line I'm liking this contour stick so far. 
because it definitely gives dimension to my face. And I just kind of did that so it would mix well. My biggest fear is that I'll have like just these like brown lines that I can't get rid of. But hopefully that is not the case. But I do try to keep not all of my makeup being like $50 a piece because it's very expensive to buy like just tons of really expensive makeup obviously. So I try to have some products that I could just use lightly and then other products I can use um, plentiful in a plentiful manner. So all right. So next I am going to just use a little bit of this Bobbi Brown and it is warm beige 3.5 and I like um, kind of thicker thicker powders just for certain areas of my face because the areas of my face as you can tell that get a little bit um, greasier like my nose and just right above my eyebrows I'm not sure why but and then just make sure that it gets underneath and then I just kind of quickly go around just to give it a base and then I use this Laura Mercier um, translucent Mercier I don't know translucent powder and it's just loose setting powder and at first I was like why does everybody just like put it on their face and then it just stays there for a while but I get that it like kind of needs to set obviously that was a huge thing but you don't need that much gets everywhere though so I literally do not get in my clothes until I'm completely done for the day because otherwise it will get like that literally everywhere so that's the only thing I don't really like about this product is like it just gets everywhere but and then as much as I don't like having like straight up powder all over my face it needs to kind of set so that will stay I really like this brush it's like super basic powder blush brush from it's 201 the Sephora it's just like the basic Sephora brush and so typically next I do my eyes and I'm going to use this little mirror so that I can look up close while I'm not looking in the big mirror. So um, I have lots of little brushes but sometimes honestly my finger works really well. And I do get the Ipsy packet so sometimes you find like a really really cool one. So this is Bahama Mama and it's in this bronzer bronzer shade which I actually can't find what the color is maybe it's bronzer powder balzante which is kind of brownish color and I'm just go oh it looks like I forgot a little bit of that contour good thing I looked up close so I really like this one as like a basic base because it just has a nice bronzy tone to it. Who knows, this might not even be for your, eye, your eyes, but I like to use it for my eyes. It's kind of a small palette to have to be for your face. I mean, for your like cheeks and stuff. And I also like don't worry about it being a little messy. Again, I like kind of clean it up as I go. And I'm hoping this whole thing wasn't incomplete, like out of focus because it very well could be. Okay, so it looks a little bit messy, but that's just kind of my base because I like to have 
um, just brown base. Man, this got all over me. Um, okay, so next I have this um, tart, uh, Rainforest of the Sea. And in it, you can see these colors. And they're neutral, um, but I like to use, actually, I don't need this right now. Um, I like to use various colors and then just start blending them together. So, first, I'm going to start with Mermaid. And mermaid, I'm going to put on the inside. And I don't know about you, but I really like um, ones that have a little bit of shimmer to them. I just feel like it gives kind of a nice look so and you'll notice that I'm not like switching my brushes up a ton which actually is kind of nice because it blends them together and I'm trying to be careful of my lashes because they were just done in the last hour and if you have lashes done if they haven't told you you need to like be really careful with them for the first couple days as they set so, and then I'm going to also take this mermaid just down a little bit to the bottom. So that has a little bit of shine. And blend it into the brown a bit. And then I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take the paws or sand <laughs> upside down. It says paws, but it's actually sand. I'm going to take the sand and just go oh, kind of highlight the brow. So maybe does this help you better if I turn towards you? I'm not sure if this is even going to work. Some people have been getting their eyebrows like tattooed on and I recently dyed my hair a little bit darker and so I might need to go down or like darker in brow, but um, we'll get to that. So then next, I actually just use like most of these. So um, Cove is a little bit, it's not as sparkly, but I'm gonna do that one on the outer part. Sorry, I'm blocking you. And Cove, I, it kind of looks like that one that I started with, but. Okay, and then Next, I'm going to do a little bit of the starfish. I'm going to switch brushes. And this one's a little bit more flat, but it's literally not a fancy brush. I'm going to do starfish. And I'm going to go kind of underneath a little bit so that it kind of has this brown color, but um, it's not too smoky. I think I should check and make sure that you can actually see me in focus because this camera, like it was pretty good for, um, in terms of the lighting and the focus. So I'm going to continue. Um, I'm going to take kind of a more rounded, softer brush for the more orangey color. And I'm just going to go in just right here. And as you can see, it kind of blends with that first color that I did. And this color in here is Reef. I'm starting to realize that all of these colors are definitely Rainforest of the Sea. And then the dark one, which is Abyss, which makes sense. I'm just going to do like right on the sides. So now I'm going to take um, that first brush and this gets kind of messy, but um, I really like this and it did come in the Ipsy thing and it's called Melting Maple and it's from M Princess. I'm not sure, I've never heard of that before, but oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. So um, that's the only thing about the sparkles is that they literally get everywhere. So. Um, I'm just going to put it 
lightly over the whole top and it kind of fades which is why I'm putting it over the whole thing because it will definitely fade and let's see I need to be really careful of my lashes that I don't do anything crazy to them because I just noticed that I kind of messed them up for a second. So now um, I'm actually not done at all, but I'm going to put this makeup forever, which is um, Mist and Fix 2. Just mainly towards my eyes. And my eyes are not done, I just, with the sparkles, like to have them um, set. So, um, now I'm just gonna take just, um, just kind of like a cheaper brush and kind of mist away sides because it gets a little crazy. And then, um, these things I know people don't use very much, but I really like to blend with them because it looks on the side, it looks a little bit crazy right now. So. And we'll of course come back and touch that up. And I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that pressed Bobbi Brown and just do it a little on the sides because sometimes I, I know people use like band-aids and stuff like that, but I like to be able to just blend it and make sure my lashes are still good. Okay, awesome. So that is kind of the step one. And then I really like the look. I definitely need a new one of these, but this is the MAC Pure White and I put it underneath my eyes Because I really feel like it brings out your eyes. So it just kind of makes them pop. And then typically I use um, more eyeliner, but since I just got my lashes done, I'm really just going to do a tiny bit. And this is the Smoky Eye Pencil from Radial, um, just so it's not super heavy. And then I'm actually going to do just a tad underneath the white. I'm just going to blend in this powder now, which, oh my gosh, what just happened? That is an issue. If you don't see that in this video, like that looks like a spot that I missed or something. So let me just see what's going on there. So that's good for now. And then um, the, I like to do with my brows, I use um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's just the blonde, which uh, I told you before, I might be switching to a darker one. A line below. And then I do fill in the sides. So. And So when you're putting it on, it looks like it's going to be really dark, but then as you can tell probably from your eyes, it does not look dark at all, and it fades throughout the day, so that's why I'm thinking I need to go, since I dyed my hair darker, I need to go a step down. And 
And then of course, it's a little lopsided, but just gonna lighten it up. So that will be touched up a bit. I've had this bronzer for literally forever and it's Femme Couture Mineral Effects Baked Bronzer. It's not an expensive bronzer. It's just, I like the color and I like that it's a little bit shimmery. And I typically put it on around the sides and do this a bit of a contour. And then of course on my neck because otherwise my neck looks like a completely different color. I hope that in the video you can see because sometimes like it's hard to see if you're not in person in the best light. Next, I really like to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Champagne Pop. So um, this is just for the highlighter, which sometimes I feel it looks intense and then actually it's not that hard. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm, not, I'm gonna do the bronzer. And just a little bit up and a little by my nose. Not too much because otherwise it looks crazy. And then I like to go back in with a little bit of powder and just make sure that it looks good. And then um, I use the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. And since I have eyelashes on, it will just be on the bottom. Or since I got my eyelashes done, just like this. Okay, so that is what the face so far looks like. And now I'm just gonna actually like kind of get the sides blended a bit more. Usually I do some sort of cat eye, but I'm actually um, trying to stop because my boyfriend does not like when I wear cat eyes. So that's actually making this side part a bit harder to do and I get why people wear like they wear band-aids or something to like make sure it doesn't go down, but I think it looks fine. And then for the lip, I'm going to start with this Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this one is called Stripped, and it's actually just going to be my base layer. It's kind of a nude color. And I forgot that my other one is not here, so I will go get it. Okay, and then next, I use the Flesh Pot MAC lipstick. And I just like to brighten it up a bit. So, it has a little our dimension. And then I actually also like, this is kind of random, but it's a Velvet Matte Victoria's Secret cream lip stain. And I'm not really sure what color this is. And this one stays a little, so I've kind of got those three dimensions. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be posting more when I come up with other looks. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Hopefully that was helpful. Bye! Yeah.